Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about how to make your API faster in ASP.NET 8. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just 3 months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Alright, let's start with a simple test to begin with. Let's start by creating a new ASP.NET web application, web API project using minimal API. You can also use controllers, but let's stick with minimal API for the sake of simplicity. Then we will use JSON placeholder API as an external API to be able to see the difference in the request time. This is a simple code in program.cs. As you can see, our code doesn't contain any caching. If we test our API, we can obviously see that our API takes some time, almost 300 ms to return a response. So let's run this application. So when I execute this to-do list from the JSON placeholder API, so it's giving me a late response and it is giving me this response right now. So some APIs might take longer in some complex system and to solve this issue, we use caching to cache the, our response so that we don't call external API every time a user make a request. And there are two famous types of caching, in-memory cache where we store our data in the server's memory and distributed cache where we store the data in an external data store like Redis. Right now, how can we implement distributed caching? ASP.NET 8 now gives us a very straightforward way to implement distributed cache using Redis for our API. But first, we have to install our AnuGet package to able to use this feature. You can run this command in Package Manager console. Note, we are using the pre-release switch since we are currently using a pre-release version. Alternatively, you can use AnuGet package manager. Don't forget to check include pre-release button over here so once you type the command click enter it will install the package of caching all right let's do some tweaks to our code so we have added uh, add output cache and add exchange uh, redis cache over here also we we have use use output cache and our output should be cached output don't forget to add this extension method to enable caching for this endpoint. You can also determine the cache during uh, duration in this function. So once we run this application, as you can see, our output time response is 29 ms. So from 300 ms, which is the late time, and we have successfully converted the time towards 29 ms. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned this concept of how you can make your api faster so don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates to joining our course you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com thank you